we are just after school. You guys just left, and I'm so happy you're tuning in for more math after all the fun we had today. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to continue the excitement of Lesson 24, and we're going to have some more Lesson 24 tomorrow on Thursday. Um, I understand that Lesson 24 was a bit of a whirlwind. We're starting something new. As it turns out, when we start something new, it's a little confusing. You are not a master immediately. That expectation is not um, realistic. Think about when you first learned how to ride a bike. You didn't just hop on your bike when you were four years old. It took some practice. So we're going to continue practicing. And I think if we do some more practice right now and then we take a look at Lesson 24 again tomorrow, I think we will end the day tomorrow feeling a lot less uncomfortable. Um, that's my hope at least. So stay tuned. Here we go. Let's do this. Ah! Heyo. We are here, guys. We are going to just basically review what we did today in class. Um, I know it was confusing. And then again, tomorrow, Thursday in class, we're going to continue working on lesson 24. So we're going to zip through um, the problem set here just for a few examples. This is exactly what we worked on um, in group today, in small group. And I know that there was kind of smoke coming out of some of your ears because this is like pretty confusing stuff. But when we are faced with some confusing stuff, we're just going to practice over and over and over again. And that repetition helps our brain to kind of relax a little bit and realize that, hey, maybe maybe we do know what we're doing. So you guys did a fabulous job today. We're going to continue working hard on this and it's going to get better. I promise. Okay. C. 2.4 divided by 4. In small group, we said we're going to kind of squint our eyes and pretend temporarily that that decimal is not there. We know it's there, but we're just going to tr use our logic and use all of the amazing brain cells you have living inside your skull and think about what is 24 divided by 4. Hmm. 24 divided by 4, thank you, Anna, is 6. But that is not 24, that is 2.4 or 24 tenths. Do you guys remember how we were renaming in module one uh, numbers in unit form? So if we have 24 tenths and we're going to divide them equally into four equal groups, how many tenths are we going to have in each group? Six tenths. I feel like this left side, I feel like you guys were ultimately pretty successful on this. And this left side just takes a little bit of um, concentration and just think about this place value chart. Think about exactly what we're dividing and exactly how we're dividing it. Notice that we're dividing by multiples. Um, so this is like pretty straightforward division. Now let's go over here where the expression has changed slightly. Now the expression is 2.4 divided by 40. Today we worked on decomposing 40. We're going to decompose 40 into 10 and 4. I feel like you guys are pretty comfortable with this by now. Um, so we're going to rewrite our expression as 2, ooh, I might have, 2.4 divided by, sorry, this is really jammed in here, 2.4 divided by 10 divided by 4. We can do all of this mentally now. 2.4 divided by 10. Think about what this means. Put 2.4 on the place value chart that I know lives in your heart, Claire, and we're going to shift 2.4 over to the right one place value. So 2.4 is going to shift this way, that is to the right. 2.4 when we divide it by 10 becomes 0.24. Now we need to rewrite our, oops, Oh man, now we need to rewrite our expression and now we need to think about what is 0.24 divided by 4? Well, as my pet, as my hand was already getting ahead of my speaking, if we have 24 hundredths and we're dividing those 24 hundredths into four equal groups, within each group we're going to have six hundredths, just as Kendi said. 
Brilliant. Thank you. Let's go on to the next one. You guys are doing great so far. Okay, so left side we're doing mental math, right side we're doing decomposition. 14.7 divided by 7. Okay, so let's just <clears throat> look at this one place value at a time. I know that everyone in my math class can divide 14 by 7. What is 14 by 7? Thank you, Addison. 14 divided by 7 is 2. Okay, now I'm going to look to Tyler to tell me what is 7 tenths divided by 7. Tyler, thank you. 7 tenths divided by uh, 7 is 1 tenth. Beautiful. Now let's go over here, guys. This, as you know, is where it gets just a little bit more complicated, but you can handle it. <clears throat> we have 14.7 divided by 70. We are going to decompose 70 into... I want to... Can I just do a... We're going to decom decompose, excuse me, 70 into 10 divided by 7. And now we're going to rewrite our expression as 14.7 divided by 10 divided by 7. And now we're going to start to solve. Let's solve this part first. 14.7 divided by 10. Think about it. When we divide something by 10, we're going to move this way to the right on our place value chart. We're going to shift each of these div digits over one place value to the right because we're only divided by 10. So that means that each of these digits is going to shift over just one place value to the right. And 14.7 divided by 10 is equal to 1.47. If you guys would like to draw uh, your own place value chart on the side, that is awesome. If you would like to use a place value chart um, here in the classroom, that's great too. Those are wonderful, wonderful tools. Um, let's think about this. Let's, let's divide this uh, here mentally. Let's look at the four, 1, 4 first. So right here is 1, 4 or 14 tenths. 14 tenths divided by 7 is, thank you Gabby, two tenths. Okay, so we've handled that. Now we're left with seven hundredths. Seven hundredths divided by seven is, thank you, Ira, one hundredth. Beautiful. Is this looking a little bit better, you guys? I hope so. This, this guy is pretty excited about it. He's a guy because I felt like should have a mustache and I want it to make it a fancy mustache um, but that actually looks like a nose so this could be a guy or a girl that actually kind of looks like a witch um, secret word by the way you guys is witch be careful out there uh, let's go to G G has us dividing 34 hundredths by 2 Oh, we can handle this. Okay, so 34 hundredths divided by 2, which means that we're dividing these 34 hundredths into two equal groups. 34 divided by 2, um, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys can do this in your head. If you can't, that's okay. You can do some very quick long division here on the side. Um, I know 34 divided by 2 is 17, but that's not 34, it's 34 hundredths. Hundredths. So 34 hundredths divided by 2 is 17 hundredths. Okay, so now let's move over here where we're going to do our decomposition. We have 3.4 divided by 20. We are going to decompose 20 into 10 divided by 2. I'm running out of room, so let me just clear this. I can't scroll down unless I clear and close. So uh, let's try that again. Da, 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 da. Don't, okay, we're back. Okay, so we're working on H. So uh, we are going to decompose 20 into, oh my, now I'm writing in red, uh, 10 divided by 2. So let's rewrite our expression. We have 3.4 divided by 10 divided by 2. Now we can do this in our head. 
3.4 divided by 10. When we divide a number, it's going to get smaller. It's going to move to the right on the place value chart. 3.4, these digits are going to shift how many place values to the right? How many place values to the right? Thank you, Nelson. Uh, 3.4, each of these digits are going to move to the right one place value because there is one zero in 10. Okay, so 3.4 divided by 10 is 0 0.34, 34 hundredths. Now all we have to do is divide 0 0.34 by two. Well, we did that work over here and we are absolutely able to use what we already know and apply it to uh, our current problem. Um, so what we have here are 34 hundredths, just like we had in G and we're dividing that by two. Um, which we have already decided is 17 hundredths. Um, I hope that this is making a little bit more sense. If you are just completely in the dark and this just sounds like a bunch of gobbledygunk, witchcraft nonsense, I would highly recommend you rewind this and watch it again. Pause, think, process. At this point, you really have to be sensitive about where you are in your understanding. Please know that tomorrow in class, we will continue working on this, but I want everyone, every single kid, all of my 48 children, fifth grade children, my, not like, not like Cal and Georgie, but I want all of my fifth graders to come in tomorrow feeling pretty good about this, good enough that you're able to work on this a little bit more independently. With that being said, I know that today's lesson, I'm sorry, I know that um, the exit ticket that we took today for lesson 23, those long division problems. I know those were tough, um, but you guys can handle it. You guys will have the opportunity to look that exit ticket over tomorrow. Um, I just want you guys to feel really confident about, confident about what you're doing and just um, know that I think you're doing a great job and excited to see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys are enjoying this uh, Wednesday. And I will just be here in P1 slaving away. <sighs> but it's, it's my pleasure to work with you guys. Until we meet again, goodbye.